Friday. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to you, hopeful elect out there on the highways and byways. All right. Shalom to you, hopeful, excuse me, to you believers out there who are uh, believing in the names of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. And, uh, all, and salutations to all you uh, Aki and Manakwak out there who are, you know, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice and who are taking heed uh, in the last days. And these are indeed the, the last days of the so-called white man, okay? It's your broke Debakia coming to you again with another lesson, all right? And to let, today's lesson will be uh, titled, Test the Spirits, okay? And it'll be based in uh, the book of 1 John chapter 4. We'll get some precepts from there, and then we're going to go to the book of Job, chapter 5, okay? Because we see that all hell is about to break loose, all right? These are not the time to be faint-hearted, all right? To all you men out there who fell out of the gospel, guess what? Prepare to meet the sword, and the sword is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. It's your bro, Debakia, coming to you again with another lesson. And I'm here for you 12 tribes out there, specifically for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are indeed the biblical Israelites, okay? I pray that you're edified by today's lesson, and I pray that you learn something. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is the book of 1 John chapter 4, beginning with verse 1, and it reads, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And what is an example of some false prophets? All right, IUIC, which stands for Israelites United in Christ. Okay, why aren't they calling on the name of Yahweh Shai? As we see time winding down, playing games, you're not calling on the, on the name of Yahweh Shai. All right, ISCPK. Now, they have videos up where they're saying, black Hebrew Israelites, why are you making yourself a target for Esau Edom and for the government? Okay, you're a false prophet. All right, who else? Anybody out there teaching that the Karagma isn't the CHIP, you're a false prophet. And let's go into the world for, for examples of some false prophets. T.D. Jakes, okay? Joel Olstein, Joyce Mayer, all right? You're all false prophets, okay? The truth is here at Great Millstone, starting with our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught us this truth, beginning with Elder Apostle Tahar on down. The majority of these Israelite camps, excluding GMS, have 501c3 tax exemptions. And you don't have to believe me, you can look that up, okay? Anybody out there who's saying that Jacob's trouble is not going to come, you're a false prophet. Anybody out there saying that uh, we can eat pork, you're a false prophet. Anybody out there saying that the Karagma, the MOTB, is sleeping with white women, you're a false prophet. And especially you Old Testament Israelites who denounce the name of Yahweh Shai, guess what? You're a false prophet. 1 John 1 and 2. Hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh. Every spirit that confessed that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of Yahweh. All right? And that's what our elders and apostles teach us over at Great Millstone, that Yahweh did have a son who came in the flesh, who was from the seed of David, and his name is Yahweh Shai. That's our Lord and Savior. That's who we're counting on in these last days to be saved. Okay? Besides that, we don't have any other source. All right, Esau Edom is about to unleash all type of weaponry on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, these, these are not the times to be playing games. These are also not the times to be uh, uncertain about who you believe in. And if you're not familiar, Yahweh means God in Hebrew. Bahashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means of, of uh, Jesus Christ, okay, in Hebrew. All right, and that's... Those are the names we're going to call out until the end of time. And even if we're trapped in a quarantine camp or some shit like that, who knows? We're still going to call in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And one of my favorite verses was, what does the book of Proverbs say? The name of the Lord, which translates to Yahweh, is a strong tower. 
All right, the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is a strong tower. Okay, we have faith in those names, and we will continue to have faith in those names. First John four and three again, and every spirit that confess not that Yahweh Shai. No, oh, First John four and three. No, four and two again. Hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh. Every spirit that confessed that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of Yahweh. 1 John 4 and 3. And every spirit that confessed not that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is not of Yahweh. And who, uh, and who confessed that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach didn't come into the world? Who's the latest dude who did this? Rap the news. All right. He is officially a goner. Yahweh Bashim Yahashai destroyed that man. He was a two-third scoffing ass Jake who was always trying to roast or make jokes about Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai is not playing, okay? There's death angels all around you two-third Jakes out there. And you niggas who heard this gospel and won't take heed. All right, and these are my words. These are from the scriptures, okay? And for you niggas who fell out, Man, it, it is a bad time to fall out because you have no power source. All right, you Old Testament Israelites don't have the truth. You'll never have the truth. And if you do have the truth, why aren't you Old Testament Israelites on the highways and byways waking up the elect? Exactly. First John 4 and 4. In 4 and 3 again, actually. And every spirit that confess not that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is not of Yahweh. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it, shall, that it should come, and even now already is it in the world, okay? Because in the Christian and Catholic churches, they taught us that the Antichrist is going to be this evil ass man who's going to rise up to power and continuously rule the world in evilness and in wickedness. That's going off. Anyone out there who denounces and who doesn't Proclaim that Yahweh had a son whose name is Yahweh Shai is an antichrist. All right? Okay, so you Old Testament Israelites, guess what? You're, our, you're an antichrist. All right? You niggas out there not calling on Yahweh Shai, but calling on Jesus Christ. You're an antichrist. Okay? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai uh, is about to turn up as Elder Apostle Tahar coined the year 2022. The year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turning up. You already see all hell breaking loose. You got fires all over the place, places. You got uh, freaking cliffs falling on people. You got uh, car accidents all over the places. Famine, okay, famine is here. These stores running out of supplies. Man, these are beautiful times, but it is a, it is a horrible time if you're not a believer in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 1 John 4 and 4. You are of Yahweh, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. All right, so if you find yourself in his truth, guess what? You should be blessed. You should, con you should consider yourself blessed, I should say. Because Yahweh Bash, Yahweh Shai has a lot of our people blinded out here. All right, numerous people walk past the camps on the highways and byways, not knowing that they're marking themselves. And for you niggas who imagine vain things and wicked thoughts towards the Lord's prophets on the highways and byways, guess what? You mark yourself for either death or destruction, okay, or life or peace. It's it's all simultaneous, simultaneous. Yes, look that word up. All right. So greater is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai who dwells in us than them niggas out there in the world who want to scoff and talk shit, call us black Hebrew Israelites, and, and saying we don't have the truth, and saying that we're evil and we're in the cult. If you look that word cult up, it just means culture. We're returning back to our culture and to our heritage. All right? If you're out here referring to yourself as black, uh, his Mexican, or Native American, you're blind. All right? And the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not in you, nor is it on you. First John 4 and 4 again. You are of Yahweh, little children, 
and have overcome them because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world and the world hears them. So you worldly niggas out there, you always have a, a foundation. Okay, you always have a platform. And the world likes ignorant ass shit. Just look at black culture, okay? BET, Telemundo, Mexican culture, all these rappers and entertainers. But guess what? Even judgment is coming onto them and to these wicked ass rappers, right? Leading our people astray. And to these stupid ass celebrities, man, all that shit is going out the window. We are living this amazing, but also dangerous times. And it's only dangerous if you don't believe in how about you how it's shy. And it's also dangerous if you're not part of his hopeful elect. That's why we say Lord's will, that we're part of the hopeful elect. Okay? First John 4 and 5 again. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world. And the world hears them. First John 4 and 6. We are of Yahweh. He who knows Yahweh hears us. He who is not of Yahweh hears not us. All right? So these words fall upon deaf ears if Yahweh doesn't want you to wake up. That's just what it is. But if Yahweh Shai has mercy on some of you jakes, you understand all these words that we're saying, which is also an incredible thing. Because as much as we want our people to get it, if the Lord doesn't want them to wake up, they're not going to wake up. All right? And these words, they just may sound like, like nonsense to you niggas out there. All right? We are made a spectacle unto the world. On the highways and byways, they throw dirt at us. They try to spit on us, talk shit, honk horns. Edomites come around and play loud ass music, not even realizing they're marking themselves. Judgment is here in Babylon the Great, and judgment is across the world. All right? And we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he will destroy you niggas. And destroy you heathens, beginning with you Edomites, you so called white people. First John 4 and uh, 6 again. We are of Yahweh. He who knows Yahweh hears us. He who is not of Yahweh hears not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. What's the spirit of truth? The spirit of truth is what the men and the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the spirit of error is any of these other camps out there not teaching this 100% gospel to, to the core. All right, and the spirit of error is you Old Testament Israelites denounced in the name of Yahweh Shai. The spirit of error is you niggas out there saying that the MOTB isn't the Karagma. Okay, we can't, I can't say the other word because they'll take down this video. But the spirit of error is, uh, uh, is, way, is, is out here more than the spirit of truth. All right, that's why you have to search diligently. You can't just be out here listening to everybody because they look nice. You gotta try the spirits by the spirits. All right? Now let's go to the book of Job chapter five. Give me a moment. Okay, this is the book of Job chapter 5, and we're going to start at the, um, hold on. All right, we're going, this is the book of Job chapter 5, and we'll start at verse 12. And it reads, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Who are the crafty? These Edomites. All right, with all these forest uh, men, 
uh, what's that word? Man, uh, mandates, okay? Uh, with their internet, okay? With uh, their unrighteous decrees, beginning with their judicial system, okay? With how they meet up and, and try to, you know, come a, come against the Israelites, okay? But guess what, Esau, Edom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, is not going to let you accomplish your NWO that easy. In fact, he's going to disappoint you. That's why you see a big division, all right, here in America with the Jews and the unjews. Also in Europe, there's all type of protests and riots. They're not easily bowing down. What, what's, what, and why is that happening? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is disappointing these damn Edomites, okay? Job 5 and 13. He takes the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. Okay? So constantly they're, they're trying to come up with plans and schemes to take down the children of Israel. Alright? That's the reason why uh, for you Israelites out there who don't believe in the names of Yahweh Hashem and Yahashai, guess what? Esau Edom is going to take a hold of you. He is going to destroy you. Alright? If it's not from this way, it'll be from that way. And as the elders always bring out, Esau Edom is just uh, doing the Lord's job on the left hand side. Okay? And the left hand is all unrighteousness. And the right hand side is all de it's dealing with all uh, righteousness. Alright? Esau Edom is the Lord's sword who is on earth to persecute the children of Israel because of our disobedience. Uh, Job 5 and 15 But he saves the poor From the sword from their mouth And from the hand of the mighty So the poor what has hope And iniquity stops her mouth Behold Happy is the man whom Yahweh correcteth Corrects Therefore despise not the chastening Of the almighty Alright if you're catching hell right now You're in his truth guess what That's because Yahweh is dealing with you and if you're not catching hell, hey, you got to question yourself, like, why aren't I catching hell, all right? Every single man of the Lord is catching hell right now in America because we're not following Esau Edom's rules. Even some of you women, some of your sisters out there are catching hell as well, okay? But that's because Yahweh is chastening, is, is uh, yeah, he's uh, chastening us, basically. He's, he's put hell on us for a purpose and for a reason, just to get us more crafted, and to build us up in the spirit for these times that we're going to see. All right, you got famine out here. Uh, there's a shortage of food all across the world. And for you, and, 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 and two thirds Jake doesn't even realize that. They're too focused on, you know, the new social media hot fling, the shit on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Bond out. All right, Job 5 and 18. For he makes sore and binds up. He wounds and his hands make whole. So if you're catching hell, eventually Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai will make you whole again. It's only for a temporary time. Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver you in six troubles. Yes, in seven. There shall no evil touch you. In famine, he shall redeem you from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Okay? We have faith that Yahweh is going to redeem us from famine and death. And even from the sword, which is Esau Edom. Esau Edom is the physical counterpart of the sword. Woo! Uh, Job 5 and 20 again. In famine he shall redeem you from death. And in war from the power of the sword. You shall be... You shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall you be afraid of destruction when it comes. So we're not afraid uh, of these damn Edomites. Uh, we're going to make a move. We're going to deploy the National Guard. Do it, devil. We have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Forget all you devils. All right? And, and this is the spirit we have to be in. We have to be charged up in the spirit because we have faith. All right? 
which is what these damn Edomites can't get because they're all carnal and they're fleshly. Oh, let's get that again. Job 5 and 20 again. We're almost finished with this lesson. The water, if you're still watching. In famine, you shall redeem you from death and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall you be afraid of destruction when it comes. At destruction and famine, you shall laugh. Neither shall you be afraid of the beast of the earth. For you, for you shall be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. All right? So these animals in these last days are going to be working with the hopeful elect. All right? We're going to see some crazy-ass shit out here. Hey, but we're not going to be afraid because we have Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai around us as well as his holy angels. If you can receive that. Job 5 and 24. And ye shall know that your tabernacle shall be in peace, and you shall visit your habitation and shall not sin. You shall know also that your seed shall be great, and your offspring as the grass of the earth. You shall come to the grave in a full age, like, a, like as a shock of corn comes in, in, in his season. Lo, this, we have searched it, so it is, hear it, so it is, hear it, and know it, and, and know you it for your good. Okay, these words are for our good, all right? So, I pray that you were edified, okay? I'm going to close out this lesson by saying... Call Hola Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kadash, Shalom.